how to convince somebody else that online programs or anything in particular can work. So imagine you've got somebody who's quite stubborn and quite fixed in their opinion. How do you change that? That is a question that I have been asked by an amazing, amazing lady in our tribe and support of this channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you exactly how we sort of, and you'll see, can do that. But first of all, here is a quick intro. on a beautiful, beautiful dog walk and thought I would get this video done for you guys. So how do you change somebody that perhaps has a fixed mindset or is convinced about something? Now, here is the truth. We don't. It is not our job. It is not our role. We don't. And that probably was not the answer that you wanted to hear. But it is not up to us to try and change anybody. And you might have heard that expression. You can take a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. It has to be up to an individual. It's up to them to change their perspective, their opinion. Now, of course, there are some things that we can do, which I'm gonna share with you on this video. But first, we have to understand exactly that. It's not up to us to change Bob to change. It's not up to us to change Bob. And it's not up to us to change anybody else. Here he goes, ready? Gone. Should I throw it in the opposite direction? I think so. Off he goes. He is so obsessed with this ball. So it's not up to us to try and change anybody else. And sometimes when we really try to change and we resist how somebody else is being, actually they like it even more and they become even stronger in their opinions. We can almost cause the opposite to happen and they can become quite defensive and even more firmly stuck in those opinions. So be careful. And of course, remember, everybody has a right to feel the way that they do and to have their opinions quite windy out here today. I really hope that you can hear me. So it's up to everybody to have their own opinions. However, if for example, this particular lady was asking me about how do you convince somebody that an online program isn't a scam? Well, the best way to show somebody that something isn't a scam is to get the results. If you can implement what it is that you're learning on that online program and get some results then that's tangible evidence it shows and demonstrates that it works if you are still building this then of course testimonials can really help of other people that have got results but again don't force it upon them don't push it uh, to them if they're open to having conversations about it these are different things that you can share and speak about rather than just trying to force the opinion onto somebody. You could share testimonials. Just coming through this here. Farmer's Gate down in Cornwall, lovely. <laughs> so it depends what it is and how big somebody is in their opinion. But my, my best piece of advice and something that I've really implemented into my life is to become the difference. So be the difference, show the difference. If it's personal development, becoming a better person. If it's within a certain industry, getting results and becoming better within that industry. If it's an online program, implementing what I'm learning to get the results. That is the best way that you can show anybody that something works. And it also takes away any sort of difficult conversation, tough arguments sometimes that people have when they have these different views and different opinions. So the best thing, ask them for their support. 
So it's okay. I understand that you have a different opinion from me. And that's okay. I completely understand that you're entitled to. However, I feel this way about it. And it's something that I would really like to try. So please, can you just support me in this? That's all I'm asking you to do at this stage. Whether or not you'll say, I told you so, probably not because remember law of attraction i am going to make this work is is we we will see in the future but for now please support me in what it is that i'm doing and that is the best way that you can look for change with anybody else is to become the change yourself i had um quite a a negative relationship with my mum she's absolutely amazing she loves me so much but we were always bickering always arguing and when I wanted her to change and I was opinionated in my way of thinking of what I wanted her to be like. Of course, nothing really changed and we and we kept on bickering. But when I started to change myself, my approach, things that I had control of, because of course we are in charge of ourselves, we're not in charge of others. So when I started to change how I was and my approach, even when it was really difficult and sometimes I was biting my tongue, you know, it's about becoming that change, being that difference, or if it's in something tangible, getting those results. And that is how you can start to change somebody somebody else's opinion and therefore perhaps the way they are in that area so i hope that helps beautiful macy and anybody else who is watching perhaps if you're going through a bit of difficulty and you're trying to force change upon someone else allow them that space allow them that time and become the difference yourself if this has been useful then of course hit the like button and the share button if you believe it will benefit somebody else otherwise remember remember last of all if you are not already hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it for your daily notifications of inspiration, education, and motivation. And I will see you on the next one.